now we're on our way out of England uh, into France. We arrived in Calais at the ferry yesterday and my team actually ran from the ferry starting at 3 a.m. We ran all the way along the coast, along the North Sea. Yesterday we were in London. morning so given that it was Saturday morning we we're happy to have at least a few people and then Sean came in Simon took off I would say probably we're uh, two hours out of Paris going towards Brussels before we arrived here in Brussels we started in a little town just on the Belgian French border I actually ran across the border this morning there were some very bored looking cows, but the run was gorgeous. It was absolutely beautiful. We are here in Tenoza today where we're going to have a fantastic day. This is my country and I'm very much looking forward. Paying salute to our uh, sponsor Dow Chemicals and uh, we'll be running towards Dow, make a circle around the factory and the organization itself. I'll be running with about 160 children I hear and uh, together we'll run into the plant area uh, they'll be carrying bags of water um, to kind of emulate the fact that uh, the African children are doing that on a day-to-day -day basis. Here we are in Antwerp. I uh, just ran in uh, from Ternusen, which is a city in Holland this morning. And uh, in the past couple days, we've been running through the French countryside. It's actually been super rural. Uh, I've been running at night, so the audience has really been cows. <laughs> but really quaint French towns. Um, it's been absolutely beautiful countryside and tons of rolling hills, so our, our legs are getting used to the hills. We, from there, went on to Belgium and have kind of been crisscrossing between Belgium and Holland uh, yesterday, today, and uh, we'll stay tonight in Amsterdam and then head on to Germany after tomorrow. Now it's day 12. We're in a beautiful square in the middle of Amsterdam. So again, if you're walking by, we are a group of 20 runners running around the world. Here we come! Tomorrow we're headed to Bremen, actually this afternoon we're headed to Bremen, Germany. Uh, we'll be in Germany for three days and then on to the Czech Republic. As we've been traveling throughout Europe, we've come across a ton of people who actually are aware of the water issue. It's been a really nice surprise and uh, a really special example is we were in a bar at 2 a.m. in Ireland somewhere between Limerick and Dublin and we started talking to everyone in the bar about the fact that we were running for safe drinking water in developing countries and one of the men in the bar actually was really concerned about a water shortage that's happening on the western coast of Ireland and we were really shocked. I mean Ireland seems like a really wealthy country um, you know there's no sight of any kind of water issue but it was something that was really real for this man and he actually ended up giving us a 24 euro donation which gave someone drinking water for life so it was a pretty special experience. <laughs>